This week was a great lesson how not to estimate. It's Monday, today my guests come. Working from home is great and having a separate office in your home and being a person who works remotely is really, really awesome for me. But when the family comes uh, and you are a bit out of your daily routine, it's getting harder. I was just doing the fix for unselectable text in my Pomodoro blog. And these small changes make, make you and the users love the app. They make uh, the users feel that you really care about them. Last week somebody wrote uh, under the video about Simon Game that they don't go this far in mile to checking the projects that are not their private. I think that if you really devote your time to start any project, it's better to do it, you know, 120% because it's still your portfolio, still you devote your time and time is the, the most precious currency so, that you have. Majority of the week was like that, so it was the time spent with my guests. motivation at all so whenever you are not in a mood for coding whenever you are not focused enough to start coding because you are tired or you are thinking about something else turn on the music that you like and start coding it works The first thoughts on SAS is that it's very organized, very modular and very useful and it's like natural step after getting to know CSS and using it for a while. The code in SAS seems to be really easier to maintain and easier to add another components, easier to come back after time to. And great for bigger apps, great for working in a team, great for maintenance of the project and coming back to it later uh, because of its import, because of its variables and the huge plus is also how you write in SAS, how clean it is, that you don't need this extra semicolons, that you don't need this extra brackets. That's why I hate when people uh, call SAS what is SCSS. Okay, they are convertible, you can you know change one into other, but SCSS is not SASS. and come back after work and start learning to code. Very often, as I read, people do it as a second job, they do it at night, so I really, really admire you. And I keep the fingers crossed for your success because uh, it's really hard and uh, I got just only guests and it's harder to stay on a daily track of learning to code. I'm focused on coding the whole day and majority of the time I spend on coding, on learning to code, on learning to design. But you guys who really do it, you know, partially after work and still manage to do it successfully, you rock guys. So it's uh, really something awesome uh, and this needs the power inside. It's Thursday, I've just finished writing the first draft of uh, my new article on Medium. It's seven minutes uh, to read it, so it's uh, perfect timing. Coming back to it tomorrow. 
this week because of uh, the project that I will also start soon, I was uh, comparing the prototyping tools that I've been using before but not for a long time so I had to revise them once again and uh, I decided on experience design. When I do the designs for myself very often I do not uh, use them at all because uh, uh, sketching is very often enough. Majority of prototyping tools are really similar so if you know one it's easy to use the other one. What differs the prototyping tool is very often the price and uh, the level of functionality if it's really ma made your product or not. This week I gathered a few uh, brownie points uh, so together I have right now 464 um, brownie points and, and I was active but not as I wanted uh, but still the, four, the first four days I was active also on Twitter helping others so from Monday to Thursday I gathered a few more points to my 500 brownie challenge the article is uh, ready right now to be revised by Quincy and I want to publish it uh, in Fickle Camps publication uh, and uh, when we talk about this article I was uh, focusing on uh, how much um, did it cost me to earn this front-end uh, certificate um, and uh, I focus mostly on data, on numbers uh, and uh, later discuss the details uh, I mentioned the resources, uh, feedback and a few things about sharing and uh, paying back and also what's next so uh, not to show you the whole story right now, I hope you will read it uh, later on Medium. I will provide you the link once it's published. The way I'm writing articles uh, is always planning it uh, and um, later uh, writing the first draft and, and coming back to it after uh, one day, uh, sometimes coming to it uh, um, after a longer break if I have time. Uh, and uh, polishing it, so changing what's uh, needed. Also expected things happen when it comes to the projects because all of a sudden, uh, last week uh, uh, on Friday, three new clients contacted me about the projects. Uh, I got two, uh, two calls this week uh, about the projects which you have to connect with extra time needed for that. Uh, when you connect it with uh, having hotel at home uh, and uh, working remotely from the same home and uh, adding these extra hours, as a result, at the end of the week, you think, I didn't learn a lot. I didn't learn a lot of new stuff. Uh, so your motivation falls down and the problem is that it's not the end. I get uh, one more week like that and uh, I have to start also a new project and uh, come back to the routine. Decision taking and replacing what you need to do first uh, in this uh, situation where your time is shrinking and uh, a lot of unexpected things uh, with guests uh, uh, happen. This taught me this week uh, also uh, how to manage my time better, how to manage my uh, planning better. Uh, so for sure it's a lesson. But I will do my best to use what I've learned this week, not to make the same mistakes. Keep on doing and plan wisely and see you next week learning about Flexbox.